Live from the Slackers Sports Bar Studios, this is In the Building with Mike Taylor and Rudy J. <laughs> oh, man. I got a call earlier today. Technically yesterday, because it's, it's 12.36 a.m. Central Texas time when we do this show. Why are you telling people this? Oh, because I'm not going to try to fake it today, sir. Did you just pull out a comb for your beard? A brand new <laughs> afro pick for your beard? That's Why badass. Gotta be an afro? Why gotta be an afro? <laughs> Man, Rudy's in something called Valdosta, Georgia. The Georgia accent, that's the old school. It's not like a Texas accent. Texas Texans talk like I do. No, no, you know what? It's totally different. Like oh, we went much. out to eat. We went out to eat for lunch today and it's a yeah. totally different southern accent. Let me see if totally I can pull different. it off. Let me see if I can do it. Yeah, talk to me. What's the name of the place y'all went to? I need I need to have I need to get into character. Uh it was actually Texas Roadhouse. Oh my goodness. Te- Welcome to Texas Roadhouse. Can I help you? So, they, that, that they don't thing, finish their. Like, it's like they the talk Georgia, like, yeah, yeah, Georgia. Yeah, 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 just like them. It's like it's like that Dale Earnhardt Jr. talk. It's a little bit a Southeast Conference. Yes, right. this act, this act right here is the accent we all have to get used to. Now, the fucking Longhorns sold out. Went to the SEC. <laughs> it's like this. They don't finish all their words. They don't pronounce every syllable. McConaughey, no. it's, almost, it's almost like Matthew McConaughey, but because they also have like they have lazy mouth too. They just kind of talk well, like that. I, well, we, we, we were running lazy? hot. We were run, we, we, we was running hot today and turned four in the Taco Bell Frito Lay in the building. Love you, Hard TV number forty five Chevrolet car. It's different. It's NASCAR talk. That's a different accent, man. So it's late, man. And where's your black eye? Uh, April Fool's for the mucka. Yeah, dude, that went great. We it caught did. everybody. Nobody knew anything. I have all these texts. I have proof that no one watches the whole show or they watch it in bits and pieces because I had all these calls and texts throughout the day asking mm-hmm. if I was okay because people had started the show but hadn't finished it yet. And then, like, some people saw it, and they were so shocked and upset that they didn't, they stopped it and then texted me, not watching the end of the show to where I reveal that my eye's fine. How about the makeup job? That Dude, Nina did? y'all Great. got, y'all got yeah. me. Y'all got, we got me. even like LG. It. He's Mr. Cynical. We got, we, we got, it was great, man. Oh, check it out. You're going to love this. Okay, I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, and by the way, it is 1230 something in the morning. So you have to forgive me, sir. I am tired, stoned and faded, low key faded, bro. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Okay. So I got this, I got this email tonight. Uh-oh. This was, this was like hours later. I, I was, uh, out doing shit and pulled up my email and it says, Mike, I'm watching the show. I work for an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. We can take a CT scan and see if it's broken. Let me talk to my boss and maybe we can work out a trade or some shout outs for our office. I know you don't have insurance, <laughs> but Thunderdome looks after one another. Let me know. Don't think it's an orbital, orbital blowout, but if you're seeing double, we need to know that it could be a ZMC fracture. Basically, your cheekbone where it meets the orbit. Henry, from a maculofacial surgery center. Like, we fooled medical people with this, this gag. What a great gag, man. It worked out great. And I don't normally do April Fools. I had all I'm, y'all. I'm willing to bet Nina was 100% behind all of this. 100% behind yep. her all idea. 1,000. 1, she's like, she like, Mike, you need to do an April Fools thing. And you're like, okay. What a good one. And I said, I ain't going to get no goddamn April Fool. April Fool's is for so bad people. I don't ever do that shit. And she, I'm telling now I'm going to talk like a NASCAR driver the rest of the show. Road tide road, motherfucker. 
It don't Alabama. count if it, hey, it don't count if it's your second cousin, Rudy. It don't count. That's bullshit. It's it's my second no. cousin by marriage. It don't count, man. Bro, mm. if it's your second, I promise you, if it's your second cousin, it's incest. I have, uh, an, aunt, I have an aunt and uncle who are second cousins. Mm. It's no no joke. What do you mean? <laughs> they married each other. They had yeah. kids. Yeah, lots of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they all have three fingers? No, they're fine. No, but it all tastes better. <laughs> <laughs> the but the uh, the family tree doesn't branch. What does that mean? <laughs> it doesn't split. Yeah, uh, right. She didn't wow. have to change her name because it was already the same oh, last name. Right, that's funny. That's Are convenient you too. Serious? I'm serious. It's yeah, and it smells good. I yeah, got I'm this. Serious. Mike, saw your episode this afternoon, wanted to see how you were doing. Did yeah, you go to the doctor? These. Is there anything we can do to help you? Hope you're feeling better. I got that text today from <laughs> my buddy. People were wanting to come over and check on me, man. Uh, I uh, Let's see. Damn, Slugger, do I need to call a safe <laughs> hotline for you? LOL, that's a hell of a shiner. Jesus, dude, that shiner is impressive. I guess I, I just all day, man. Uh, here's Jones. Alex, Ow. just subscribe. What's up, boy? Listen Ow. to 1242 in the morning. You can, he's, he just randomly subscribed right now at 1242 a.m. <laughs> the he, he's not watching the show, but he just oh. subscribed to the channel. Okay. Yeah. So time out, Mike. Uh-oh. Yeah. I was so going to do thing some more. Is, so this is, yeah, no, I want you to do some more. So it's the gift and the Craig. curse. It's What's the that? gift and the curse. Because it's like, okay, people are concerned, but at the same mm-hmm. time, y'all didn't even, <laughs> y'all didn't <laughs> even stick around to the end. Yeah, I know. We need to hey, we need to work on our time spent listening, Thunderdome. Uh, my boy Cuts by Jones, who's got a whole bunch Ooh. of new cuts for Saturday. Cuts by Jones. Fred, he's got a whole bunch by of cuts Jones. he's bringing to the barbecue to raffle off. Uh, he, he actually finished watching the show. He wrote, bro, you are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just finished watching your show. I was about to text and ask if you were good. Congratulations on all y'all's new sponsorships. Oh, how about that? That's kick ass. <laughs> bro, you're all, bro. You're stupid. That's so good, man. Golly. Yo, God. you got big weather over here in San Antonio. So Yo. my wife, I was yeah. on the phone with my wife right before this, and she told me San Antonio, it's bad. So it sounds like it's what hailing is it? outside right now. What is it? House. It's hail. No, I heard. Yeah, my my wife told me it was hail. That's just, you know we're happy about that around here. Why? Oh, yes. yeah. we're your roofing yeah. company. <laughs> yeah. Bring on that hail. I'm happy I have a garage where my car is right now. That's all I can say. Yeah. Hey, hey, LG, you uh, have gap insurance. You'll be fine. Why? I don't want to deal with that. Okay, let's tell Thunderdome why I appear to be inebriated. Let's let's pull back the curtain because I'm the one. What the fuck is wrong? I'm going to be made to look. You're slurring. You're slurring. I am not a man who stays up this late normally. And oh no, no. Let's tell them the real reason. The real reason. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm in Georgia. We shot yes. super late. That's I why we're doing the accent. That's fault. why we're doing the accent. Well, how, what, what was your day like, Rudy? Did y'all have fun? <laughs> Rudy worked a 15-hour day. Welcome to yeah, production dude. life, buddy. Dude, and what no. are you doing? You got to get up. You got How when do you have to wake up? Um, Like 7. Oh, man. Let's get the live spots in. Go Mimi's. <laughs> <laughs> what time did you crash out, Mike? 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yo, Mike. Mm-hmm. Mike. What? You're not that old, bro. 12. LG's wide awake. LG's probably going to be up till 3. Your ass is passed out at 11. LG, what do you have in the morning? You have to get up for any reason? I got to be in New Braunfels by 10 a.m. to get my truck okay. serviced. I've got two TV to hits bed. tomorrow. I have to look decent. Did I you buy to, some cucumbers or some no, baggy eye shit? No. Preparation H. I have, yes, sir. That's the That's secret. You gotta, yeah, you got to rub that butt cream on your face. That's the what? key. 
That's the industry preparation secret. Preparation age. age to get rid of the bags temporarily. Yes, sir. That is not true. That is true. Ask, ask some of your production preparation team age, tomorrow. Rub it all over your butthole, and you're good to go for TV. Wait, what's preparation what? age again? It's hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> Shrink, shrinks down the hemorrhoids, but it also shrinks the bags under your eyes. Yeah. And wait, go what on do TV. I do? I, I, I rub it under my eyes? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, not your butthole. I was kidding. In this instance. We can do both. No. But no, if you had hemorrhoids, the butthole won't help you for TV. No. Nope, well, it won't. depends on the kind of TV you're doing. but It'll make your eye orbital sockets nice and shiny and not black like mine was yesterday. It's yeah. an old industry trick. Look, man, we go out on occasion, right? But if I'm home, I can't stay up. If we go out, which is rare for us, like we don't, she and I, we went to her son's birthday party last week. Saturday we went to the Bonham Exchange. That was fun. What? We went to the Bonham. What? And we were getting. I used down. to do the Bonham. I used to do the Bonham on Wednesdays. That's funny. I sent you video of me acting at fool in the club once, two Saturdays ago. Do you recall? Uh, yes. Okay. And I was doing this. And, uh, it's acting crazy. Yeah, we were. At the I didn't Bonham, post it. And I did not. I don't care. We didn't get back till. Probably one thirty. But how did you we feel? Fine, but we went out. That's the thing. If I don't go out, I go to bed. I can't sit up in my own house. It doesn't work, dude. I got to see the finish of LSU Iowa. Uh, I got. Did you just hear about San Antonio's own Josh Young? He's got AIDS. He's been put on the sixty-day disabled list because of it. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Are you being serious? Hang on for a second. Nope. I, I meant he fractured his wrist. That's what I meant. I was like, what the f Yeah. <laughs> easy to confuse the two different things. Like, what? <laughs> I meant I like, he fractured his wrist. I said this I said the wrong thing by mistake. Dude, what do you drink? Is that it, vodka? No, it's water. So, now, okay, I did partake in a few things earlier. Okay, what? Well, I, I would test. I I probably would not pass a, a test or two. Marijuana. I had it. Well, I drank real strong beer. You ever had La Fine du Monde? No. Yeah, they don't sell it at Texas Cheer Liquor. Oh, and I, I thought you were it, about I, to I, say they don't sell it on the east side. I thought that's the deal. <laughs> It's no, I wasn't, I wasn't going to be oh. racist. It's Canadian. It's French Canadian beer. It's from Quebec. 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 That's another accent. Au <laughs> so, contraire, bonjour. That's right, son. Bojo. So I, it's got like 9% alcohol intake. And I had How many did you have? Just two. Two? Yeah. And I had a big old rip of that bone. Well, you just getting ready for our party on four twenty. Yeah, and like, then I went to sleep. That's the thing, and I went to bed. I just could not stay up. I couldn't stay up, dude. Um, so, and we got a lot of things. I need. I have a lot of things I need to get in. Let's get it in. Put it and in. By the way, and Josh Young did break his damn wrist though, swinging at a bitch. <laughs> he's swinging, nailed his damn wrist, and now he's out for a long time, and that's unfortunate. Uh, Iowa beat that loud talking Kim Mulkey's ass and those shit talking LSU's. LSU's has got their ass kicked by Iowa. Be um, nice to Kim Mulkey and, and Angel Reese. All they do was win, except for tonight. It was not in uh, homegirl Caitlin Clark hung 41 on LSU. Well, was, she came to kill. It was awesome. She's awesome. She came to kill. You <laughs> shoot, if you shoot 23s. Mm -hmm. If you shoot twenty three pointers, yeah. you are like that's that thing that the killers have. Like she yeah. came out there like, yo, she never complained yeah. about Reese last season. She never oh. complained this season. Yeah. But be clear, she came into tonight to kill. Yeah. You don't shoot twenty threes unless you plan on murdering somebody. Mm -hmm. and she did just that when you shoot 23s you're on a whole different mindset that's not that's not there you go that ain't 
<laughs> That's not normal shit, bro. No. So nice, nice work. It was nice to see LSU lose. And I, it's funny because like do you mean I, it was nice to see LSU lose. What well, they mean? won last year. It's someone else's turn. And you I don't say that when it's the Cowboys. You didn't say that in '92 and '93. Well, Kim Mulkey rubs me the wrong way. How does she rub you? And she's a see you next Tuesday. No, but how does she rub you? It's gross. I don't think she's oh. rubbing anybody. She divorced that dude Robertson and took Robertson off her name. She used to be a hyphen. She was Mulkey Robertson. And she told the old, and by the way, the, the end of their marriage was written about on that Washington Post piece. So mm, it, my he, wife, my it, wife is a hyphen. He was tired of putting up with her ass because she's, she's honorary. So he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and bounce. And she's like, well, if you leave, don't you dare think about coming back. You don't get to leave Kim Mulkey. I told you she ain't talked to her own father in 37 years. Who the hell look, does that, man? That's she's that's bullshit. She told Robertson, look, if you're leaving, you ain't coming back. So this is it. Make your mind up right now. He's like, all right, deuces, and that's it. That's fine. People get divorced all the time. But her pops, she hadn't talked to that dude in 37 years. I she wish I had the ability to cut people off like that. She just put a towel. She's ruthless as shit. No, she set herself up as a villain. That's how she's able to maximize herself as a coach. That's who she has to be to win. Is to, she's all about winning, and that she put that over everything, kind of like Jimmy Johnson did. And Jimmy Johnson was a dick too, but Jimmy. But I don't know. She just uh, she's been on a tear lately about just being an asshole. You know. So. Yeah. Anyway, but no. Shout like, out to Kate. Shout out to Caitlin Clark. They're gonna yeah. be facing Paige. Page versus Caitlin, UConn you versus can. Iowa. You can. Oh yeah, uh, we got UConn and Iowa. Is is it? Is that what's going to be next week? UConn Iowa. Yeah, I can't wait. Now, I NC State white on men white, and white on white crime. <laughs> <laughs> One of the white girls has got to go. America, we're so sorry. We know y'all love them. We know y'all favor them. We know you want them to win, but they're facing each other now, so something's got to give. Hey, where are the white women at? It's like Bird versus McHale. Like, they're not on the same team. They have to yeah. go against each other. I'm sorry. And uh, South Carolina it. gets to take on NC State, which NC oh. State men and women, men and women both in the Final Four. How many times has that happened? Do you know off the top of your head? Um, Three times. I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea either. I thought you were testing me. That leads into a segment, though. All right, it's, let's do it. It's, it's Wednesday, so it's time for the punch of the day. No, it's Tuesday, but we're going to do it anyway. It's time for the punch of the day. Jesus. Here in the Slackers studio. Don't you look at it. you think my boys at Slackers thought they were, oh, we're going to be in the studio, host. Look at this. Look at the studio. No. <laughs> they know what's up. Love it hard, man. So, by the way, before we do the Orlando Kill thing, so let's do some producing on the air. What's Are up, we bro? doing a? I, we're doing a live every day, a Slackers live, because I'm happy to do that. Yeah, so you got to promote 420. I am, but yeah. like they're be, them becoming the studio sponsor, they also get a live spot every day, don't they? Yes. Okay. Well, if you read just, the menu. You just would making know. sure. I have a forgetful <laughs> memory. I've not read the menu in days. All right. So my punch of the day today, presented by the official family lawyer in the building, uh, Orlando Kell. Speaking of NC State and Texas and women's basketball, I want to punch the okay. dipshits in Portland, Oregon. Wow. Who screwed the court up. Oh, dude, did you see nine that? inches? The three point line was nine inches short at the top of the arc. And they played they the whole game used, that way. They could have just used me. God. Texas got beat. I'm not saying it's the reason Texas got beat. Magnum Talk Dong. Good. Talking nasty. <laughs> <laughs> nine inches. I can't. I, I don't pack that kind of meat. Thank God. You, nobody wants a nine inch pecker. You That's crazy. too much. That's too much. You're crazy. That's way too much. Because what do you mean it's too much? 99% of the female population is not made to handle that kind of punch. <laughs> And it's a drag. Not be, oh, 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 he, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he knocked him out. <laughs> I 
got my Magnum condoms. I got my water hundreds. What? Ready to plow. Gosh, I like, I dig my size Jesus. fives. I like my You're size. what? My five to six inch. It depends on how much I've been drinking. I'm good with that. That gets the job done. Just, you're never able to, you're never able to, how can I, I would try to get a network job. So I don't want to talk to, I need to talk. Yeah, to don't folks. do too much. I can be nasty without being over the top. If you're drilling what? and you're never able to use the whole jackhammer, it's not as fun. That's my hot sports opinion. I wouldn't know. I've always been able to use the entire jackhammer. <laughs> I don't have those too long jackhammer issues. I could imagine it's a drag though. Like you watch some, you watch certain movies. Now you can't watch Pornhub anymore in the state of Texas because we're a bunch of prudes. It's still, um, ba- it's still banned. Yeah, still banned. I built. I go. I go. I go to my favorite sites six times a day just to check and still banned. You check, okay? It's unfortunate. Just sure. Yeah. I, for show research purposes, that's the reason I'm doing it. So I can be informative for Thunderdome. Let them know the, the news of the day. <laughs> so all that to say, I want to punch the idiots that screwed up the court in Portland and messed up the tournament. That's that's ridiculous. <gasps> and NC State did beat Texas. That's okay. NC State's going to get run off the floor by the fighting Lady Cox. What? Hey, man. South Carolina. <laughs> what do you call them? <laughs> This lady game Cox. Well, they call him Cox for short. <laughs> Mike, that's not true. Haven't you seen Order. those hats? They were hats. They Cox. C O C K S Cox. Now, why would Lady Cox? <laughs> I'm not even going there. I'm not. Do you going need to there. punch anybody today? Yeah, I, I mean, not physically. Well, never, of course. It's always in fun. I got to punch Angel Reese. Uh-oh. <laughs> she fouled out. No, nah, it wasn't even that she fouled out. It's just playing the victim card after you lose. Like she said, this year was awful and everybody hates me. <laughs> I'm like... Like she's like, I want since I won the national championship, I haven't been happy since. Now Aww. that might be true, Mike LG. That might be true because of, you know what do they say? Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Fair, but last season when you won, you were you were trolling Caitlyn, and y'all since cleared your things up. Ring, ring me, nah, talking shit. Mm-hmm. And then after you win, yes, once you win, people come for you. Yep. You can't go. You can't go crying after you did all that. Yep. There's no crying you gotta, in baseball. I'm not saying. I'm not saying don't address your mental health if you really been depressed since you won the title. Okay, cool. But what I'm saying is, in public, the way you acted last year when you beat Caitlyn, you got to hold that L in public. And go home and cry, or or, or cry in the car, because mm-hmm. I don't want to hear it after the way y'all acted last year. I don't want to hear it. Hey man, damn right, LG. You got to punch anybody. I have a second punch. Probably want to punch me. Got y'all up late. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, good. I want to punch Fort Worth on Rasheed Rice, Super Bowl oh. champion. Wait. So what? Did, what are we? Okay, do, what are you? What are you doing, dude? Okay, hold up. Moonwalk. Moonwalk. Set this okay. up. All Who right, he is? Cool. What's going on? Chiefs wide receiver Rashi Rice, uh, who had a great season this year. We I used him as an example of great coaching, good system, culture. You know, guy had a breakout season. He's from Richland, which is a suburb of Fort Worth. Played at SMU, so he lives in that metro sex. He's in a fucking Porsche and somebody's in a Lambo, some other dudes he knows, and they're racing for fun on the Central Expressway up in Dallas. They lose control, clip each other, run into two or three other cars, wipe out three cars going God knows how fast on the on and 75 Central Expressway is a massive, massive four lane five lane expressway in the metro sex. And Okay. 
Could have killed all of them. And he and his buds, they just get out of the car and they're like, what the hell? It's all on cell phone. And they just start walking along the freeway. They just start walking. They just leave the wreck. All of there's like, there's two to three in each car. They just get out. Well, some dude starts rolling. I don't know why he decides to, because we, everybody rolls on everything. And there, you see him walking away and he's like, Hey, you guys okay? And they're like, yeah, we're all right. And the guy goes, are you guys leaving? And they just keep on trucking. So warrants have been issued for all of them, including Rishi Rice. The lawyer came out earlier before I went to bed, and I don't know where we are now. It's middle of the night. But the lawyer was saying that Rishi plans to cooperate in the morning. I think he's supposed to go down to – he's supposed to go somewhere with his attorney and turn himself in. You can – it is a felony to leave the scene of a wreck that you have been involved in. And that dude's in trouble. What, what the hell are they thinking? You just going to leave your pile at it's a, a, two couple of hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars cars. You should get up and walk off. Well, I'm going to wreck that car. I'm going to go find another one while I walk off the freeway. What the fuck is he thinking? So, <laughs> wow. So yeah. you don't get the DUI though. Well, I guess not. You avoid you know the test. Yeah. Yep. You avoid the DUI. I get, yeah, that's, yep. that's the, that's the hustle. Yeah. But it's broad daylight. And everybody, I, I think, yeah, I think it's a less. Oh, this was in daytime. Yeah. At middle of the afternoon. Jesus, dude. And that, that he Racing may have been Lambos. Mm-hmm, he may have been drunk, but it's a worse penalty to leave the scene of a crime than, to, than a DUI. I mean, hell half the league's got DUIs every year. Big deal. Leaving the scene of a massive wreck. That's, that's no bueno, man. Please tell me no one died. No one died. Okay. No, this wasn't like a Dwayne Goodrich situation. Remember that? The Cowboys player? Yeah, and then Jerry that, Jones allowed that same dude that caused the wreck on the sideline two days later. Yeah, and, and he, he let Josh Brent go on the sideline too, and Josh Brent got his own damn friend killed. Now, there's been a couple of there have been a couple of real bad wrecks up there, but this is a chief who just lives there, and so the Chiefs have said they're taking it serious. They're gonna let let it all play out. The NFL's gonna investigate. What a dumbass, man! Even if you were smoking or drinking, you lie about who was behind the wheel. What you say the other day? You got to take one for your buddy. Oh no no no! Yeah, the entourage. You ain't the one with the money. money. That's right. You ain't you ain't the one with the money. You got to take you got to take the blank. Yeah, every uh, every crew should have one. Mm-hmm. Every crew should have a guy that's yeah. taking the fall when shit hits the fan. That's right. Absolutely. All right. Thank you to Orlando Kell, the official family lawyer of in the building. I think I'm starting to sober up, although I'm really tired. Uh, my boys at. The law office of Orlando Kell, if you are finding yourself in the midst of a family situation, divorce, maybe you've been served, maybe you're about to serve somebody, maybe y'all have already gotten divorced, but you need a, a decree change, Orlando's the dude at 210-775-4995. You can email him directly at orlandokelllaw at gmail.com. All right. Welcome to, uh, welcome, 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 slackers. Uh, I have a couple of appearance announcements. Yeah, let's uh, do it. The new studio. Sponsor of our show. Look how proud they must be to see our situation. <laughs> Slacker Sports Bar, baby. And they're really going to like our studio on April the 20th because the Slacker Sports Studio will be actually at Slackers, the medical center location on 420. <laughs> April 20th, uh, Rudy and I are going to have a special edition of In the Building that day. We'll give you the time and more details as we get close. But it's 420, it's a Saturday. It'll be during the daytime at the medical center location, the Slackers. They're having a massive crawfish boil. It's on 7959 Fredericksburg Road, a wide array of nostalgic arcade games, a bunch of high def TVs. You got these two, you got these two giant walls comprised of 10 screens to make one ginormous screen. Uh, and so there's just not a bad seat in that entire place. It's me and Rudy, a special edition of in the building at Slackers on 420. All right. You won't be in town, but later today, yes, What's up, big dog? five to seven, I'm going to be at over the top barbershop. Um, LG and I, what are you going to do? 
We well we well we're gonna I'm gonna sell tickets. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got VIP tickets to the barbecue. We're gonna have some food. We're gonna have a paleta band out there selling paletas, very very San Antonio style. That's five right. to seven today at a place called Over the Top Barbershop. This is a different. This is at sixteen oh four in Braun. It's right off of sixteen oh four. It's a, it's another location. We went to uh we went to the original one. Me and LG did when we got our haircuts. Uh, when we got to three thousand subscribers, this is the other location. It's Over the Top Barber off sixteen oh four and Braun. Um, I'll have VIP and regular barbecue tickets for sale. The barbecue is this Saturday. We need to get ready of as many as we can. So thank you to, uh, over the top barbershop for having us back out there on, uh, on, on today at five o'clock. All right. Five to seven, five to seven. All right. What else is going on, man? It's one o'clock in the morning, man. We got, I'm, I'm just right now. I'm also in, I'm in barbecue mode, man. Uh, how about the booze sitch that Texas Cheer Liquors decided to give? Good God. Yeah, it's going to be a Dude. good thing, man. Dude. If I, don't it's, know if, I mean, did can you pull that picture? off? Uh, I think you did. You may, did. Did Mr. Singh? I think yeah, yeah, you were yeah, on this yeah, LG, LG. LG was in it. You look it's at the picture. Sing, motherfucker. This dude here. Is gonna auction off. He goes. Uh, da, 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 okay, he's got a really nice basket, an allocated bourbon starter pack, Eagle Rare, Weller twelve year, Stag, uh, freaking Blanton's is in this, and then a bunch of Buffalo Trace, man. Uh, W two, and that Eagle Rare is a ten year too, by the way, and we want to auction this thing off here. That yeah. stack, let me tell you something. That stack mm -hmm. junior alone. Mm-hmm. I don't get in the price, but that's a that's a really, 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 really nice bottle. Look at all that in the pretty booze. Those are beautiful bottles. Look, we're gonna give away that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it away to the highest bidder. We're gonna auction this off. Every cent will go to the Boys and Girls Club of the Salvation Army. Thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor for that. Again, so why don't we start the bidding off here? And if you want to make a bid on this, again, this is for the kiddos. We're talking. Oh, you want to do it? You want to do it on the air? Oh, you want to do it here? I didn't know where you. I didn't know where he wanted us to do it. You want to do it here? We're gonna start. We're gonna start today, and oh, okay, we're gonna take it through Friday's show. Yeah, we'll DM take it through me. Friday. Yeah, we'll take don't, it through Friday, and also right. this way we can send the picture to LG so it could just sit up here. So they yeah. can see exactly what Correct. they're getting. Yeah, and I'm I'll on post top of it, buddy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought you oh, got it. Shit. Bam. Bam. I didn't think there, he oh, got it. I didn't think he got it. My cool, bad. Cool, cool. He got it. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Look at that. So you got the 10 year So Eagle all Rare. of that Buffalo. Are you sure all of that trace is included? Uh, he put it on the barrel. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying what's on that barrel. I see a bunch of Buffalo Trace in the background, and then I see that Blanton's. I see that stag. I, I see that Weller twelve proof, twelve year rather, and I see that Eagle Rare ten year. Dude, All I right. want that stag junior. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start this auction off at five hundred dollars. Five. Okay, we'll start with five. Don't send money to the show because there's fees that would get tacked on when you do that. If you want to no. bid on this, five hundred dollars. DM me right now. I'm going to be taking DMs the rest of the day. If you just nice. make sure you get it, shoot me a DM, shoot DM me right now and tell me just you know what eight hundred dollars. But we're starting off at five, and we're gonna we're gonna rest of the day. I'm gonna take all my look at all my DMs. You can email me Mike Taylor Show at Gmail dot com. You can DM me, DM me on Instagram or on Twitter, or you can shoot me a Facebook message if you want on Messenger. And at the end of the here later today. I'll see who's got who's made bids, and we'll we're gonna carry it to the end of the week though. And I'll announce who's made bids tomorrow and see if anybody wants to up it. We're starting off at five hundred bucks. Every penny will go to the kids. Thank you to Texas Cheer Liquor, the official liquor store yes. of this show. Love them boys hard. Okay, uh, what's on your I, what's on your mind, sir? I'm I'm like borderline. I'm loopy as shit. Uh, no, I mean I, I got a bag. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? A uh, empty bag of nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, empty no, no, no. Bag of nothing. No, you're good. 
I thought you had a whole shit ton of man news today. Oh, yeah. We can do man entertainment news and make it brought to you by Jay <laughs> if y'all want. <laughs> let's do it. All right. Let's get into it. Cool. Let's get into it. It is man entertainment news brought to you by the official real estate agency of Jay Rabaldo Realtor. How about that? Our official guy, Jay Rabaldo. What up, oh. Jay? What's up, Jay? Man entertainment news is brought to you by Jay today. You were doing some videos and content today. What got into you today? <clears throat> um, recording shows at night. Nothing to do during the day. <laughs> we do have some new fanfare for man entertainment. We do. I, that's right. Ladies and gentlemen. It's time oh, for shit. entertainment news on In the Building. Yeah, wow. look at that. Live from In the Building, a guy's what favorite the segment. The the world of entertainment. entertainment. My God, there's two of them now. Here they are, Rudy J and Mike Taylor. You bet your ass. Thank you, Big Balls Pat. It is Man Entertainment News presented by the uh, real estate agency. Jay Rabaldo. All right. We had to go 36 years for the Top Gun sequel. Okay. But it appears we may not have to wait another 36 years for a third Top Gun. What happened? Paramount announced plans to proceed with Top Gun 3. And Tom Cruise is expected to return alongside Miles Teller and Austin's own Glenn Powell, who those two dudes were very good in Top Gun Maverick. Let's uh, First of all, did you see Top Gun Maverick? Well, of course. Okay. LG, you saw Top Gun Maverick, didn't you? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Well, you didn't, you you didn't love it as much as the... Did you love the first one? No. <laughs> wow! Did you love know. Top Gun? Man, it's an action movie, man. It's yeah. fun. It's good. Well, here's why are no. you asking us if we saw it? Like you're shocked because like, I'm gonna like sit up here and too. spend five minutes on it if y'all didn't see it. Oh, I saw both of them. <laughs> All right, I good. saw both. I saw I love both Top of them. Gun. I yeah. saw both of them. <laughs> They're not great movies. Yes, they they're, are. They're great movies. They're not. They're great. great movies, dude. They're not supposed to be Schindler's List or <laughs> Shawshank. Yeah, I don't, what are you ex- going in expecting? I mean, they're about as good as like Transformers. You know, that's just, just it's gratuitous action. That's just there's no the plots are terrible. The characters are terrible. Right there, Merlin's the only real hero in the whole movie. The first one, Merlin. Arc. Yeah, Tim Robbins. Yeah. He, Without him, Maverick dies, or Iceman dies. Nobody would fly with oh, Maverick, yeah. except for Tim yeah. Robbins. Merlin. Yeah, yeah. They tried to have him fly with Sundown, and it didn't work out. <laughs> sundown. I still, I'm still excited that the only black pilot in the entire first one was Sundown. <laughs> Well, one was that'd have been like having that'd be like LG sure. as a pilot, and they called him Rising Sun or something. <laughs> no, you can't do that either. <laughs> oh God! So Cruz is apparently totally interested. He's staying busy, even though he's in his sixties. He's got another Mission Impossible he's making. He's going to do another an as yep. Yeah, he's going to do an as yet untitled uh, movie with Alejandro Gonzalez Inarito, the famous director from I think Mexico. Why are you but, saying uh, Mexico? Yep, yeah, according to Jerry Bruckheimer, franchise producer, Maverick director Joe Kaczynski's new script is coming along smoothly. They are absolutely all the way full bore. <laughs> On a Top Gun three, and I'm in. Absolutely, of course, it's an action movie, and it's fun. All right, so I can't wait for that. Although by the time they get done, Cruz will be damn near seventy. He's old, man. He looks great. Yeah, he don't look sixty. I would hope he would look great. Yeah, he's got great hair dye. Like that, he's got that Nick Saban hair dye. That Rudy J beard dye. They do. They giving him some blood or something. Yeah, they're giving him monkey blood, something. Mm-hmm. 
and getting those blood transfusions <laughs> from younger people. All right. The speaking of South America, the noted What's pop up? star Shakira is in the news. What does she do? She is not one of these younger celebrities, although she's not that young now. She's a middle aged mama. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't she's know. still she, evading taxes in Spain. Probably. Wow. That don't they all? Low blow. Yeah. No, she paid. So, she paid it back. She paid him back. Eh, it was all, it was all good. She, she probably made that ex that soccer player pick up half of it when they got divorced. Oh, all right, shit, so that's right. They are divorced. Yeah, okay. she and yeah, homeboy fucked it up. Of course he did. So she is sounding off saying that she did not buy all the hype. Speaking of movies that get a lot of hype, Barbie, criticizing Barbie. Shakira is sounding off against the movie saying that its message of ultra-feminism and female empowerment is misguided, and it comes at the expense of men. The mother of two sons did a sit-down with Allure magazine about this flick, Barbie, and she was honest about how she felt, and she's got those two boys, and how the boys felt about it. Despite the overwhelming praise Barbie got from Hollywood, Didn't Shakira see it. says... She and her uh, her boys were not impressed at all. She says, my sons absolutely hate it. They felt that it was emasculating, and I agree to hey, a certain, hey, to a certain hey, extent. Hey. She says, I'm raising two boys. I want them to feel powerful while respecting women. I like it in pop Chale. culture when it... I like pop culture when it attempts to empower women about robbing men of their possibility to be men to also protect and provide. She's basically saying... She's, she's calling out this Hollywoodism we got in modern times that tells young men right. to be pussies, essentially. Huh. Or you're, if, you, if you're not a pussy, then you're toxic masculinity. And there's a, there's a whole lot of space in between being a puss and being a toxic asshole. There's a whole lot of line in between those two. And a lot of these idiots in Hollywood, they want to turn young men into just not just like existences. There's a difference between being a, a man and a woman, and there's not a damn thing wrong with admitting that in this society. No, yeah. not at all. That's it. Barbie set it up to where all dudes suck, pretty much. I didn't see it, but that's what I heard. And enough people that I respect that did see it trashed it. But, of course, Hollywood ate that shit up because, you know. Yeah, I didn't watch Barbie. Anything is skews way to the left. Dude, I what? heard the great. I heard the great ludicrous say people always come up to him and say why do y'all keep making fast and the furious movies and luda's answer was simple he was like it cost us 200 million to make it and we make a billion as long as we're making eight as long as we're making 800 million dollars yeah they're gonna make as many of those motherfuckers they can even though they're saying this is the last one i'm just saying oh, like yeah. along those lines we're gonna have four together. more barbies mm-hmm we're going to have a bunch more Barbies. Yep. All right. One woman not feeling so empowered these days is Houston's own Lizzo, the noted R&B singer. Oh, God. Lizzo former, announced. Former singer. Well that's, well, that's right. Lizzo has apparently quit. Although Wait, we'll what? see how long it lasts. Music. She's done. Lizzo went on Instagram and says she's tired of being dragged by everybody and wants to quit. Fat. She did not spe specify whether that meant she was leaving music, um, but she is quitting. Of course, Lizzo has faced a lot of criticism lately over a performance at a Biden campaign event, which she didn't do well at all. Um, she what did gets she do wrong? Sucked. Wasn't ready for it. She catches Ouch. a lot of shit in... Uh, People fat shame her, and she's tired of it. We just talked about her the other day. That's too fat. Oh, wait. There's, there's good fat, and there's bad fat, and that's... Like her, her fat's got fat. Jesus, Mike. <laughs> she has obese fat cells. That's true. That's accurate, what I just said. That's true. No, it is. There's well, pretty get there's pretty big girls and there's girls that her girls her size need to cover that up a little more. 
You should not. You, you shouldn't have be proud of everything. There's things I well, don't show y'all that I ain't proud of. <laughs> like what? I like my toes. I hate them. I don't like my toes. And I've got you. You've shown us your toes plenty of times. Only for medical like for medical like reasons, and I didn't like. It. I don't like man. I don't like man feet either. Yeah, mine got shamed, but I was try. I was it was a medical segment on my bunion and my and my uh, cyst. I've got a cyst on my right middle toe, and I got oh, a real shit. and I got a real bad bunion on my right foot too. My right foot is twig. <laughs> Yo, get that shit fixed, bro. I ain't fixing that bunion. Well, I tried I to get the hurt. cyst. I tried to get the cyst uh, taken off, but it didn't work. A, do a, doctor, shit, a doctor stuck a needle in my cyst and shot a bunch of damn Drain shit in there. All that didn't work. Didn't work. And we've got celebrity death on our hands. The great Louis wow. Gossett Jr. has gotten died at the age of eighty-one. No, at eighty-seven. The first Fourth black man to win a supporting actor Oscar and an Emmy winner for his role in Roots back in the 70s has gotten died in, in Santa Monica, California. Or some on the block. Was for he LG. Kunta Kinte? Who, who was he? No. no. <laughs> oh, God. Who'd he play? Uh, Bob Saget. Who did, he was in, who did he play in Roots? Oh, he helped me out, Thunderdome. I guess y'all can't help me out. <laughs> I don't remember who Lou Gossett played. Right, he was in I an office doing a gentleman. Kente. Yeah, Kunta Kente was played by the Reading Rainbow dude. Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Lavar Burton, or was it Ben Vereen? Uh, I think Ben. Okay, cool. And John Amos was also in Roots. Yes, sir. So pour some out for Louis Gossett Jr. He is a dead. All right, entertainment news brought to us by. Rebaldo Realty Group. Jay works out of the Keller Williams City View location. But he's his own man. It is the Rebaldo Realty Group. He is Puro San Antonio. He knows all the surrounding areas because he's born and raised here. He is born great and raised, for, baby. Born and raised. He is great for sellers or buyers, single family, residential, condos, multifamily, duplexes. If you're a first time buyer and you're scared to death, Jay will hold your hand the whole way. Maybe you are Jay, an expert buyer, you. and maybe you're looking to get some investment property and rent it out. LG, I think that, that house LG's in was meant to be a rental property, I think, when he first got it. Jay mm -hmm. can help out with guys doing that. Weren't you thinking about renting your place out there for a minute? Eventually. Yeah, yeah and still wants to eventually. Pandemic happened. Right. Uh, maybe this you want to, maybe you got a plot of land and you want to start from scratch and build your own dang custom home on a lot. Jay can do that for you too. He can do it all. It's the official realtor of in the building. Jay Rebaldo at Rebaldo Realty Group, 210-887-1081. You can email Jay directly at jrebaldo at kw.com. Okay. I like how Jay set the bar really high for the graphics by including a portrait of himself like it huh i like that i think it's cool you know they should step it up we should get orlando to give us a portrait as well orlando is yeah, i don't know that he wants a. I don't i don't know that yeah he's i don't know put it on the look so, you know what he looks yeah, like yeah there's get some, mr LG. singh up on here that'd be cool <laughs> Shit. You got a better Sing's, Sing's, yeah i don't think singh will do it he could send like some picture of a real tall, stud, young Bollywood actor, and we could use that as seeing. That'd be funny. <laughs> a stand-in, pull out the pull out a nah. ringer. Yo, yeah. let's do it. I think that's a great idea. That'd People be like to see what you look like. You know, who am I dealing I know. with? That's right. Who am I doing business with? Hey, shout out to Chuck Soro, who said hard fart what? the other night on television. Chuck Soro, the dude that does all the fun giveaways during the Spurs game. Oh. People thought he's people thought he was Thunderdome. For years I have said the term hard fart whenever a game is hard fought. Cuz Avery Johnson used to say hard fart. 50 50 50. I think I have hard it. fart. 
Oh, Here you have go. it? Okay, this is the other night. Oh, this is After awesome. the Spurs won, when Wimby got fined $20,000 for throwing the ball into the stands because he was happy. This is my boy Chuck Ciro introducing Wimby after the uh, win the other night. Go ahead. Roll that tide. On the court here with Victor Wembenyama. 40 points, a hard fart battle that led into overtime. The battle continued and you won. Tell us about the amazing teamwork tonight. You know, this, these efforts, these, these results, we wouldn't have gotten them at the start of the year. And we wouldn't have gotten okay, them that's fine. He's with happy. you guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wimby didn't cuss for once. Hard fart. Hard fart game. He just got a little Baltimore accent or something, Mike. Maybe he was drinking some stag before the game. Maybe that's why he sounds like me. No, I get that. I got the first time I ever heard that. We say Avery Johnson used to say that all the time when he was the coach of the Mavericks when I was covering the Mavs for Mickey Dallas many, many years ago. He would every time there was a hard uh, game that went down to the edge, down to the wire, it was a hard fart. Hard. He had that Cajun accent. That's why it was a hard fart game. Howard Howard. So it's been hard. He would he called me Mavs Talk. What's up, Mavs Talk? He didn't know my name. I was the guy that did the Mavs post game show. And uh, oh, Avery always used to say Howard Fawett in that damn I can't even that, Don Harris does a good Avery. Howard Fawett. Yeah. yeah that's Don it. Avery. Yeah, Don Avery. <laughs> yeah, Don Harris is Avery is magical. But anyway. Yeah. Love you boys. I can't believe I've been able to talk this long. We're pros. So you got to get up in the morning at what time? I don't know, like in five hours. Man, you need to get some sleep, Holmes. Or you don't even have time for naps, I'll bet, during the day, probably. You're working the whole day. Yeah, and then we're like 20 minutes. My hotel's like 20 minutes from the base, so I can't even. So I got to make sure I have everything that I need. You know, like I had a change of clothes today because of the scenes we we're shooting. So I had mm-hmm. to pack my clothes with me because Dang the man. base is 20 something minutes away. And then oh. we did a night shoot. And then it's a small, small, small production team. So they're doing lighting, makeup, all, you know how it goes. Yeah. Anyway, Sounds like Love You Hard TV. We do it over there. We're doing all things. Uh, all, all, the, all the situations I'm in, it's all on me. All Not right. me personally, but anyway. Right. Peace. All right, y'all. I got this little brown skinned lady in there all hey, warm. Watch your mouth. I'm watch about to mouth. go. Are you kidding me? I'm about to go in there and lay down next to that girl. You're gonna pimp oh. your, your T V appearances? Oh yeah, I'll be looking for me on TV later today if I don't pass out. I, I got a, I'm doing I'm Kins. The nine o'clock what's what are they what do they call it on Kins? Great day? Essay living? Something like that. <sighs> Whatever one's on Ken's, one of those nine o'clock shows. And then I'm going to be on the it? afternoon. I'm going to be on KSAT. I don't know. I can't, I don't keep up with local news that much anymore. All I know is I'm supposed to be there at one o'clock, maybe for an afternoon show, or maybe the five o'clock show. I don't know, but I'm going to be on Ken's and KSAT. So you boys be looking for that. So, and I, well, I thought I was going to, I thought the express news was going to have an interest in writing about the barbecue. That's what I'm, I'm going to be on TV today to promote the barbecue. And so the express news called me today. I want to know if I could sit down with one of their uh, reporters over the phone. I thought, okay, must be barbecue. So I said, yes, he didn't ask me one question about barbecue. It was all about podcasting. Not one. It was all about podcasting. Okay. And where do I think the industry's gone? Radio podcast. And he, I gave he wanted to know why I think radios, which like, I, I think radios in trouble, talk, especially sports talk radio. He wanted to know why. He wanted to know about hard how hard, how how hard fought podcasting is. And I'm like, whoa, okay, well, this is a big piece on the industry. Once this come out, he goes probably two months. They're working. The Express News is working on a long, I guess, feature. Yeah. On guys like you and me turning our backs on radio. About that. I gotta hit him up. Let's chop it up. Yeah, let's do it. Now All right. we, so that's it. I, I threw yeah, Jim Rome's ass under the bus. <laughs> gives a shit. I hope he uses that. Yeah. And I also slam Die Hart too for not being innovative and forth forethought enough to Anyway, you'll see. I gave him some good stuff. We'll see how much he uses. 
I got, I'm, I, 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 I love that brown skin lady. That's why I'm, 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 I should be there now. Right, I should man. be, I should be in the middle of my REM yeah. sleep right now. Yes. All right. Love you hard, man. Love no, you it's, hard, it's bro. all good. Yeah, I'm we're proud mind. of you. You're representing, you're representing right. Texas and in the building of all over America's fine military bases. Have a good day tomorrow. LG, get some sleep. Right, you too. See you boys in here. Rudy's got to get in the car and drive up to the Air Force Base. Uh, sir, are you are you rapper Bun B? We're not used to black men being chauffeured around in Valdez. What the fuck? We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> this program was made possible by contributions from viewers and listeners like you. Thank you. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.